Hello ladies, my name is Olivia and today I have a fun wrap, a wrap hack for you. It's um, something I did because I like to wear some nice, nice light scarves in the heat and um, I really do love Andrea's um, regal wrap with the side knot detail. So it, it, that one is done with with a pashmina and I, it's getting to be too hot for pashminas and I'm trying to figure out a way to get the style to go through to the next the next season and honestly some of my scarves that are lighter are shorter and and don't work as nicely for the style so I'm trying to find ways to to hack it and and figure out how to style it for the summertime is this I think this also will help if I have a, a larger head um, so it, it takes a little bit of finagling to get the regular one with my pashmina. But I think I think if your head is big like mine and even bigger, this might be helpful for you as well. It's, I do it with two scarves. Today I'm doing it with this insanely bright, happy lavender um, two-in-one and this striped delights in pink. I did practice it a little bit with, I'll bring the scarves up with my New York Brights in Mulberry, I believe this one's Mulberry, and the Mulberry colored sparkly scarf here. Um, for some reason, my brain always gets the shiny licious and the sparkle licious and all the shiny scarves in my head are the same exact one. I will put in the, in the description, the exact name of this scarf. So I, it, it, it my apologies ahead of time that I can't quite remember what the name of this one is. But I thought because I'm, I changed into a long sleeve shirt, I'm going outside to do some gardening and I like to have my, my arms covered fully. Um, I, and besides it's, it's really, really hot. I was wearing a dark color before. So I wanted to change into something light. I figured this would go better than the, the mulberry, having something dark on my head. So I'm gonna put those down. Now, this one is super simple. I can do it two different ways. I'm gonna start out with the way I originally did it and then I'm gonna move with the way that I found much, much better just to show you my process. Now, I believe in the video, Andrea is wearing this shaper, this style shaper. It's an ultimate with the Velcros in the back. Um, I had this one on earlier. I it drove me nuts, it, so I took it off. Some days, certain shapers go better than others. This one was not sitting properly, so, but this one will work as well. That's my point. Everybody has a different a different idea of what the best shaper is. I like typically ones without the Velcro in the back, but I put on the Cloud Nine just because it's similar in volume in the back and it's more comfortable for me but this one definitely will work. All right, I'm going to start out by taking the Striped Delights. This is the first way I did it and I found it worked well. Um, I like to give options because not everything works the same for everyone. And this might work for some people better than the second. So I placed it slightly off center on this scarf and I'm I'm not tying the knot in the back of this one I'm crisscrossing in the back now I'm gonna turn around because and show you because it's it's important to get the right crisscross in order or get the scarves in order correct I am crossing the one that's on my right under the one that's on my left and it does make a big difference um, as far as the wrap, because if you're not tying a knot, I'm like, I'm not tying a knot, and you start to bring up the scarf that's on the outside, sometimes the back falls, it, it, it just falls apart. It doesn't hold well. So that's, that's why I did it this particular way. Now I'm going to put my second scarf on 
but I'm just going to make it into a sash. I'm folding the two in one in half and then I'm just kind of crinkling it up just a little bit. And I want the folded piece towards the front, just out of habit. I'm placing it on my head, kind of, kind of towards the back, but I do not want it covering any of the stripes. I don't want to see this very much at all. I'm going to check and see this is too long. I just want enough of this, this tail to make the side knot because when I wrap it, that will be the spot. That will be the tail that makes the knot and that is perfect. So about two thirds, one third. I'm tying the knot in this one, which should help a bit to hold this scarf in place. Just going to adjust this. Okay. Now, this tail, we do not need. We do not want to see it. I'm just bringing it up. I'm trying to keep it with the, with this part. I don't want it, I don't want it seen. In the end result, it's not going to be seen. But I also want to keep it very flat so there's, there's no bumps in our wrap. So I'm going to bring it up and tuck this away. Again, trying to keep this part quite flat. No bumps. Okay. There we go. All right, let me show you the back just to give you an idea what that looks like. Okay, get my hands out of the way. That's what we have so far. Okay. I'm going to push this purple tail down. I'm going to take this part and making sure when I open it up, I have this long piece. I want to flip it so that the long piece is in the front. And I'm going to bring this up just like so, making sure I can cover up, making sure I cover up any parts of the purple that could be showing in the back. You can see I'm bringing it up towards the back. And then it's been this way. I'm going to take this piece and give it a tuck into the pocket of the purple just to get it out of the way. So it's like a cheater pants half, um, half, this half of the regal. Apologies for saying cheater pants. Um, it's weird. So I'm going to be flipping this around to make sure that it is sitting nicely. Adjust this piece that doesn't want to sit. Okay. Now we can fold this. We can crinkle this. We can bring it up any way we like. It's just uh, your preference. Okay. I'm just going to bring it up to cover the purple and bring it across like so. Okay. So now we are at the point where we would be in the standard version. I'm going to take the purple beginner's luck side knot side detailing. I can move it further to the back. If, if I want just kind of pulling it towards the back. Okay. I'm going to spin to show you. Okay, so here's my knot, taking this tail, bringing it around, and I'm just going to tuck away into the pocket. Okay, so I chose something that is complementary to the scarf. If I did this with a solid, I would, and I didn't want this piece to, to be seen at all, I would find a, another scarf that, that was the same color. This coordinates really well. I kind of like the way it coordinates. It's not matchy matchy. So adjust this. 
Now I'm going to start this by folding over the front and I'm going to place it on my head. It's off center because the piece that, that comes over my right shoulder again will be the piece or the tail that ties the knot. Now I'm going to place this as close to the front as possible just so that I don't have an extra lump and bump on the front. I think this one might be a little too long so I'm going to move it over some. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to tie this one in the knot. It'll, the first one I did not tie any knots. This one I'm going to tie a knot here. I didn't, I, be more clear. When I was putting on the first scarf, I did not tie the knot. This one I'm tying a knot in the first scarf. Now I'm going to take this tail, same as before, fold it over, bring it up, and I'm just going to wrap it and tuck it away because we still do not need this particular scarf. So we don't need it, this tail, this part of the scarf. So I'm just tucking it away like so. Making sure to keep it flat. Now, if you have a few fringes that do not want to cooperate, it's okay. It'll get covered. So the top will look something like this. Make any adjustments you need. Okay, that's my tail. Now I've got the striped delights. I'm just going to fold over the front edge just a little bit. I don't know that I want the really light color next to my face, so I'm going to fold it so that a little bit of the darker color is next to my face. It may take a couple seconds. Okay. Now, when I place it on my head, I think I'm testing out for the length of the tail. This is going to get tucked away. This one is going to come over and be our tail. So I don't want this too long. See, this is way too, way too long for me. Some, some people like really long tails, but this one is too, too long. It's down to my waist. So I'm going to adjust again. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now I brought this striped lights up to the front of the shaper, just like the purple, two in one. Now I'm gonna crisscross and I'm going to just double check the length of the tail. That's better. It's still still long, but it's not, it's doable. It's doable. Okay. So I'm going to bring our friend up. This is the tail that's, that's over our right shoulder. Now, before this was a little bit shorter. I think, but I'm going to bring this guy and turn it around so that the longer front, the longer portion is in the front. I'm going to bring it up like so. Now, before we had a pocket to tuck this into, that's kind of why I, I liked it a little bit better, but I like that this is sleeker on the sides. If that makes any sense. It, I like this style because it's, 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 it's much, um, not, I losing my words, but I liked this style for some, some reasons. And I liked the other way of styling it for 
the pocket that I get to tuck this little guy into. But since we don't have the pocket, I am just adjusting, bringing this over. Now I'm bringing it over towards the back. I forgot to mention that in the last in the last video. We want to keep them keep them a little bit more towards the back. Now I'm tucking, see I have the fringes, I'm tucking it in as best I can back here. And I'm pulling on this tail just a little bit to give it, to, but to lock it in place. There's, there's some tension there that will lock it in place. Now, I'm going to bring up this tail. You can fold it. I'm choosing not to with this. I think the folds really work better for the pashminas. Now, I've brought it over and it's kind of covering up the other, other tail, but that's okay. I have this piece. I'm going to be beginner's luck, but I'm going to bring it back. Beginner's luck. Like so. So we have that, that side detailing. I can have it back further. Um, and that's a different, that's a whole different look. It's really cute. But I kind of like it right here. It's just behind my ear, about maybe, maybe an inch or so behind my ear. But at the base of my, at the base of the wrap, not up here. Okay, so I've tied that. I'm going to spin around to show you me tucking it in in the back. So, just make sure all the fringes are put away. Okay, I think I think I like that. All right, so this is the back. Okay, ladies, um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for the two scar pack of Andrea's wrap. And just let me know what you think. This is, you know, for our, our, our larger heads, our smaller scarves. I hope you ladies have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Okay, so I was just thinking about this. I know, I know I said it was done, but I was thinking maybe because this one is, is such a thin scarf and I'm used to seeing the styling with a bigger, a bigger side detail that maybe we could amped up beginner's luck this and it might give us a more, it might give us more of a side detail, you know? I don't want it to be this big, but I wanted it to be a little more than just that one little teeny tiny, little teeny tiny. So let me spin. I got the, here I have the knot and I'm just bringing it up and around and tucking it in again. Just like so. Okay. <laughs> okay, for reals, that's it for this tutorial. <laughs> Have a good day.